This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Israel's elections are less than a week away. Security is on everyone's mind. Will the latest war on Gaza affect voters' behavior? And will Benjamin Netanyahu return to power? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. Israel's major offensive on Gaza has winded down. However, Israel's internal battle is heating up for the February 10th general election. Polls show Livni's Kadima party trailing behind the hawkish Likud led by Benjamin Netanyahu. Speaking at the Herzliya conference on February 2nd, Foreign Minister Zippy Livni said that the Israeli elections are about peace and Israel must decide whether to say yes or no to it. Yes, there is a dove of peace on the window ledge, but we can slam the window shut and it won't be there anymore, but we can open it and let the dove in. Israel, she continued, could become a country of fear or a country of hope. Unfortunately, Ms. Foreign Minister, the dove of peace has long been shot by drones, F-16s, and white phosphorus bombs. And if it were alive today, it would find no hills to nestle in because they've been taken away by settlements and military outposts. The reality on the ground in the Israeli political landscape points toward the right. If Israelis will elect Netanyahu, then you can kiss peace goodbye, I was told by a Ramallah-based Palestinian independent reporter. With less than a week to go before Tuesday's elections, the three main rivals, Kadima's candidate Zippy Livni, Israel's Labour's candidate Ehud Barak, and Likud's candidate Benjamin Netanyahu are locked in fierce debate, not about whether the devastating war in Gaza went too far, but whether it went far enough. According to most Israeli political experts, with the looming threat of Iran's nuclear ambitions, continuing tensions over Hamas militants in the Gaza Strip, and stalled peace negotiations with the Palestinians, Israelis will be approaching the polls with security as their top concern. Again, from the Palestinian perspective, Israel is not only moving to the right, it is about to give prominence to a man accused of racism and fascism, Avigador Lieberman, the leader of the Israel Bituna party. We don't like Lieberman at all. We think that he is a racist and fascist. Lieberman advocates Palestinian transfer and the banning of Arab political parties in Israel. It has been also recently revealed that Israel's Bituna's chairman, Avigador Lieberman, was once a member of the outlawed far-right Kah party, and if Netanyahu wins and courts Lieberman, then Israel will certainly be moving to the right, to the far, far right. But wait a minute, my Israeli colleague David Michaelis sees it differently. Well, Netanyahu was winning for sure till Thursday. Now Livni has a much better chance because Lieberman, who is also running, has taken away from him a lot of nationalist and right-wing voices and votes. So she might surprise everyone and I'm almost betting on Mrs. Livni. So who will win? Should it matter what Palestinians think? For Palestinians, Zippy Livni, Ehud Barak, Benjamin Netanyahu, it won't matter. The lesser of the three evils is still evil. I'm Jamal Dajani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir, or you can go to my blog on the Huffington Post. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.